Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode here. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title. That's right, the Chief Everything Officer. And I'm here with Viviana Figueroa. Say hi. Hi everyone, glad to be here on another Title Tuesday. So we wanted to produce a quick video because what we're seeing is a lot of problems is, you know, buyers typically don't know who to listen to, right? We're, we're, we're having this issue where they don't know, do I talk to the lender? Do I listen to what the lender tells me? Do I listen to the real estate agent? Do I listen to my grandmother, my sister, my cousin? They, they are really lost, right? Is that what we're finding? Agreed. Everyone is, I know there's a lot of hands in the cookie jar. There's so many people that you speak with when it comes to a real estate transaction, but we want you to be clear on who gives you your clear to close and who gives you that final cash to close. You need to speak with your closer. That is the only person that's gonna give you that cash to close and the clear to close, and they should be scheduling your appointment, providing you with the final numbers and where to send your money that you always wanna verify over the phone before you process that wire. And I wanna put the situation, it's kinda of like when you go to the, take your car to the mechanic and you need to order parts, you call your parts guy, are you calling your parts guy to see if your mechanic is completed with his job? No, you gotta call the mechanic. Hey, what do I owe you? And what, when is it gonna be ready? So it's the same thing with the closing. You need to speak with your closer. Yeah, we're seeing this a lot of problems. You know the, the Patricia Verlino story, you see it in our email signatures. We produced that PSA where, where we interviewed her. And, and it's always like, when your money gets stolen, or you're told to wire the wrong amount, you're gonna get mad at somebody. So why not call the person that's handling the closing? You know, we're, we're the first to tell people. We're the independent third party. We don't represent the buyer. We don't represent the seller. We don't represent the lender. We represent the transaction. So you need to, whether you're closing with us, which hopefully you are, you need to reach out to your title company, reach out to your closer, verify wiring instructions over the phone by calling the phone number, not in their email signature, Google search them and use the, the phone number you're finding online because a lot of times they're spoofing the email and they're putting a fake phone number. So if you just call that number, you can be like, I called Viviana, Th this is her, no, that wasn't her email, that wasn't her phone number, that was fake. So research at the beginning and program it in your phone. All of our, our employees all have direct phone numbers right to their desk, you can reach them. So do your own verification, verify wiring instructions. One of my clients called me today, he's sitting at the bank, I wanna verify wiring instructions, make sure it's right. That's the way to do it. And only rely on your closer to say you're clear to close, we're ready to close, and the final deal is done. Never rely on your real estate agent. I'm going back and forth with an agent now. Can I let the buyer in? Can I not let the buyer in? No, you cannot until we tell you the deal is signed, sealed, delivered, money is done, and Absolutely. the deal is funded. That's so right. hopefully you learned something new. Vivi came up with this idea and she's like, let's produce a quick video about it. Making sure you understand where to direct your money and who to listen to for the final details of your real estate transaction. So as always, we look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.